What's up, wizards? Here are two ways to do a slow zoom, aka the Ken Burns effect in Adobe Premiere. First, a little background. Ken Burns, he's a legendary American filmmaker known for really in-depth documentaries. He's done tons of incredible work and is certainly one of the most prolific American documentarians of all time. And stylistically, his work is maybe best known for his use of animation in still photos. He uses tons of archival still photos that, if you just put them on the screen as still images, aren't the most dynamic. So he made very frequent use of slow zooms and hands on still images, exactly like you see here. He actually used it so much across all of his films that the effect came to be known as the Ken Burns effect. All right, so now you at least know why it's called that. Here's how you do it in Premiere. Drop a photo into the timeline. Tweak the scale and position so the photo looks the way you want it to look at the start of our animation. And make sure the playhead is at the very first frame of the clip in the timeline. Then, in the Effect Controls panel, click the little stopwatch icon next to both the position and scale properties. This creates what is called a keyframe. Keyframes are special frames used in animation, and they indicate exactly when and how an image can change over time. So the keyframe we just set tells Premiere how we want our animation to start. Then we will jump to the end of our clip and then back one frame, so this is like the last frame of our clip, and we will enter another keyframe. When we have the little stopwatch icon selected, any changes we make to scale or position automatically creates a new keyframe at the current playhead position. And you can see it right there, it's those little gray diamonds underneath the playhead in the effect controls panel. So we've increased the scale a little bit, we've tweaked the position. This keyframe here tells Premiere, hey, this is how we want our image to look at the end of the animation. So now let's take a look at what we've got. So there you have it, a simple slow zoom in, the Ken Burns effect. This is how most editors are always gonna be creating a Ken Burns look, keyframing the first frame and the last frame, and Premiere will animate all the in-between for you. Now the other way to do a Ken Burns effect is slightly more magical, if you will. Uh, this involves using a motion graphics template that I made. Uh, I call it the smooth motion template, but AKA the Ken Burns template. So you can drop it right into your timeline. Then you can drag a photo from your project panel and just drag it into this little box like so, and that's actually it. There's no keyframing involved. So right off the bat, you've got your slow zoom effect. So how does it work? Without getting into too much detail, what this template is doing is kind of creating a back link to Adobe After Effects, which is another really powerful program for animation. And instead of using keyframes, it's basically calculating on the fly how the image should move. The most basic use of the template has preset zooms like zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right. Here's a few examples so you can see. These presets are easy, they're fast, but they're kind of basic because they all move from a predetermined center point of the image. If you want to get more granular, for example, choosing where in the image your Ken Burns effect is going to zoom towards, if it's not dead center, you're gonna to wanna to use the custom mode. And that's where this Mogert shines. It gets really powerful, really fast. And just like in our previous example, we jump to the last frame, give it a little bit of a zoom in, then move the X and Y around so the last frame looks exactly how I want it to look. And there we go. Just like before, Ken Burns effect, but this time no keyframing. Now, of course it's cool and super important to be able to zoom into a specific point in your image like this, but this template lets you do so much more. For example, you can quickly put together this blurry background parallax effect. It would take you a lot of clicks and a lot of tinkering around in Premiere to do this manually, but with this Mogert, you can easily change the blurriness of the background, the speed that the background moves, the brightness of the background, and the drop shadow of your foreground image, all with easy slider controls, no keyframing anywhere. Now that said, if you're trying to become a professional editor, it is really important that you learn keyframing. But if editing is really just a means to an end for you, then yeah, a tool like this might be really useful. Or if you're an editor who already knows keyframes and is tired of fussing with them like me, <laughs> uh, then this template might also be really useful for you. The link for the Mogert is down below in the description. Also, if you just wanna see like a more detailed walkthrough of this template, uh, just click the link that's popping up on screen right now. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment and I will get back to you there. Otherwise, I will see you on the next video.